Totini Hahipeni's mother-in-law lives in Edgecombe. He's in Whakatani himself. When he heard she was trapped in her house, surrounded by rising floodwaters, he borrowed a ute and went to get her. But as he was driving in, he was hit by a wall of water that threatened to swamp even the ute. So he went back to high ground where he came across a large truck and trailer unit and he and the driver went back in. They went to rescue one elderly woman and incredibly, they ended up getting roughly two dozen people out. Then he said, oh, we've got everyone. He says, no, you haven't. And my mother-in-law still in there and I think the neighbour is as well. So we went back. And we just got to my mother-in-law's, and I had to struggle to get up the driveway. It was quite a torrent. So another work colleague, he came and gave he gave me a hand to get her onto the truck. So we had to like like tiptoe almost, like little steps. So so we got her on the trailer, and there was other people, and they were all waving out and come and get my baby. So we had to go and go and get them, and um, yep, and probably spent a good two hours there rescuing people and. Uh, we had to go and grab another guy, Paul McConaughey. He was in the wheelchair. So, um, you, so, so wait a sec. Paul McConaughey was in a wheelchair, completely surrounded by flooding. Yep, all, all around the house. It was just was it had uh, it, the inside the house. The whole house was just the carpet was just covered with water. So it, uh, so it was a bit splashy inside, but uh, it was getting it was getting higher. So. And I said, well, we're going to have to take you in your wheelchair. So we tried in a wheelchair. We nearly tipped him out. So he says, okay, we're going to have to carry you because he had um, one of the, uh, he had half his leg uh, chopped off. So we carried him onto the trailer, put him on there, and we came, came back, grabbed his wheelchair his, and his wife. And, um, so we, and so we left him there, went up the road and grabbed Nettie, and um, she's no little lady. So we had five of us. Um, tiptoeing her or would you know just slowly edge inching uh, across her driveway and we we had to ask everyone what have we got here have we got a grass are there plants is there holes or are there stumps so well there because none. you couldn't see what you were standing on so oh, you no, were the water was dirty the so, water was dirty so, so the water was deep and dirty and you were carrying someone through it and you had no idea what you were stepping onto next no we couldn't carry her because she would be over about 160 kgs Holy moly, so how are you getting her through there? We, four of us had to hold on, four or five of us were holding on to her. The husband had all her bags and everything and he was, he was right behind us and so we had to get her across the driveway um, and get her to close to the fence then we can all hold on to the fence and then we had to go down the, drive, uh, down the fence where there was no, because there was, was a torrent going through about at least half a dozen houses. So you, you, so you took out how many people in total? There was about, um, let me see, well, the, I did have a count of 30, but people were getting off and on and off and going and getting things, and we are telling them, what the hell are you doing? Stay on here, you know? And so we, we, yeah, we tried our best to keep them on, and um, oh, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and, and there's 15, I've got a photo of everyone, 15, but there was another 10 more further down, but I didn't take photos because... Um, at the time, so <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm and, taking and, shots of everything and videos. And, and so this includes a, a, a lady who's about 160 kilos who you just simply couldn't carry. Oh, no, no, there's no way we could carry her. No. It, it would have been and, dangerous to carry her. A man in a wheelchair. Yep. Some elderly people, including your, including your mother-in-law. Yes, and um, my mother-in-law's dog. That was the only dog that was allowed on the truck, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah well, that's, I think that's a good thing to do with your mother-in-law, isn't it? Forgive me yep. for making a mother-in-law joke. It's totally unacceptable. And, um, and a baby? Did you take a baby out? Oh, there was a, there's a few babies. Yep, there's a few kiddies. Uh, one, one young baby. But um, one of the other guys, I dragged them off the trailer and says, come on, you've got to come and help, got to come and help these people. So there's about one, two, three, there's about, oh, maybe five or six kids on there. And then the fire brigade turned up with a big half of the tractor and took all the kids off the trailer because it was getting higher and higher. So they took them off and then we went and grabbed some more people. And where are they now, all the people you rescued on Toe's Ark? <laughs> where are they? Edgecombe War Memorial Hall or the Edgecombe Fire Brigade? Having a cup of tea. Oh yeah, yeah, then a cup of tea and um, and uh, yep, residents of the Tech Hall have gone in and helped out over, over at Edgecombe, so uh, give them something to eat and um, so everyone's just going to sit back and wait, nice and cuddly and warm and a cup of tea and everything. And Hope you're feeling proud of yourself, Toe. Oh, well, it's the day off work, eh? <laughs>
Totuni Hahipeni who went in with a mate and a truck with a trailer on the back. You must see the pictures there on the website.